Okay, folks, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center today. We're gonna to talk to you about the 2018 Imagine. This is the 3170 Bunkhouse Edition by Grand Design. For more information on this particular trailer or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by, you ask for Paul, the Air Force guy, but let's get on to this trailer. So folks, what you're gonna notice on the front here is the fact that you have, it's a molded cap, LED lights. Also, you have a nice little light there. So back it up in the night, you're able to see that a little bit, a little bit better. I know most people nowadays have the backup cameras on their uh, trucks, so the light would help. Now, if for some reason you're hooking up at, um, if you're hooking up and it's dark, they provide a light over here for you folks. So at least you can see what you're doing. Underneath here, of course, the nice thing is these doors go up and a magnet holds them up, makes it nice. 47 cubic feet of storage here, folks. Nice thing also they do for you is they give you the instructions in the event that you wanted to winterize it yourself, give you all the instructions right there. On either side, you're gonna have LED lights, have the automatic, and your light switch for the front cap is gonna be right there. But you can set these lights in the on position, off position, or in the sensor position. Of course, this is where you hook up your cable, satellite, you have a battery disconnect. You can fill your fresh water tank using here if you put the switch here. Otherwise, you put it on city water and you're, when you're using it. Or you can fill your fresh water tank right here manually if you were not hooked up to a hose. And of course, your outside shower is right there. And then also notice you have a GFI outlet here. Nice thing with that, folks, if in, in the event that you decide you want to put a heater under there, you could do that. Make it a little bit nicer for your bedroom um, when, if you were camping in cold, colder weather. Now you have under here, you're gonna have two gray tanks. You have a gray tank pole here. This will be for the bathroom, your black tank. And then on the other side of your discharge there will be the other gray tank for the kitchen. So you have two different gray tanks. And then of course your dump valve for your fresh water tank is right there. Notice it's a larger one, so it's not gonna be taken as much uh, as long for it to dump. Let me step back and let you take a look at this side of the coach. So you see both slide outs are on this side. Makes it kind of nice. Now let's go on the door side. Okay folks, so this is on the door side. You're gonna, of course, you're gonna see that you have two entrance doors or exit doors, whatever you'd like to call them. And I'll go over that when we get inside here. And then on the back, you're gonna see your spare tire, your electrical connection, you also have a ladder for you to get up onto the roof. Notice it's a crown roof, so the water's gonna be running off, raining like it is today. You'll see you also have the wired and frame for the Furion back, uh, well not backup, but rear observation camera. Spare tires back here on the bumper, and this bumper could be utilized for where you could put your, um, your sewer hose as well. Now you're gonna notice there's a little sprayer port here, so you're able to take the, show the shower hose, bring it back here, and you'll be able to use that for your kitchen. Let's take a look at the kitchen. Okay, so you see the kitchen, and what you're gonna have is you're gonna have your two burner cooktop, nice counter space, an outlet, a microwave, storage up top, and then of course you have a nice little drawer here. So Give you put some stuff out here, and then you got a nice size refrigerator out here. Notice how they deleted this is just a refrigerator, no freezer in this, and it's 110 only. So, this is the outlet. So, this is your outside kitchen. So, looking down the side of your coach, folks, you're gonna see you have a nice large awning, no slide outs to contend with, and you have the nice uh, LED light strip, outside stereo speakers. Of course, your, your uh, stove top is vented to the outside. But folks, here's something very important. Most people don't, aren't aware of this, but that awning cradle right there is very critical. And that's critical so that you have an awning this size, you're going down the road, it keeps your awning tube from bouncing, and that way it does not warp. You're gonna notice when you open this back door, you have a magnet that's over here. So you just leave it magnetized in the open position so you're not worrying about a strut or anything of that nature. And the nice aluminum steps. 
So let's go inside and take a look and see what we've got. So folks, as you come in, as you can see, this is set up very similar to like your 2600, 2800 as far as the living area. The bathroom is gonna, and bedroom is gonna be set up more like the 2500 RL. But so as you come in the door, this is what you're gonna be utilizing first off is of course to put your slides out, awning, turn your lights on, water heater. You're gonna have your storage there. And of course your motion sensor light be able to hang some jackets here. If you want to kick some shoes off, you're able to put those down right under here. Now something added because you have the bunkhouse, you're gonna have two more storage bins on this side, and they're about a foot deep. So they're good, good size, as you can see, good size there. And then of course this one's gonna have a little shelf in it, but you can see how, how deep it is. And then of course, nice little mirror. So let's start into the uh, bunk room. So the bunk room area, folks, what you're going to notice as you go in, you're going to have a futon-style jackknife sofa with the three drawers below it. On the opposite side, three more drawers, little cubbies, little shelf for the upper bunk. So you have two different bunks there, one oversized. And then, of course, you're going to have nice lights. There's room for an, um, a TV back here. You have a nice little fan windows now you can see that this bed right currently is up out of the way so if you know you have the kids sitting here during the day but so you see all it takes is this thing just makes it very simple to pull down and then of course you have another window there as well so this is the bunk room adequate lighting adequate windows and so forth coming into your main area Again, this is going to be very similar to your 2800 or your 2600 from a kitchen standpoint. With storage, you know, you're going to have your, your um, down below there, you're going to have your drawer, uh, the drawer for the uh, dog bowls or, you know, for your four-legged child, as some people might call it, your TV with a stereo, DVD player, pulls out and swivels, RV refrigerator. Of course, this has the king jack for your antenna so you're not having to put an antenna up or down makes it nice it's a digital antenna you have a nice power vent fan folks you have three of these in the coach you have one in the bunk room one here and one in the bathroom nice thing about this style of vent although it does not throw as much air you do not have to have a window open to utilize it now on a rainy day you're probably going to want to have a a cover on it so that you're able to utilize it of course, your kitchen, you can see nice counter space. Outlets are in a nice spot. And then, of course, the nice thing, just like the 2800 and the 2600, you can see your counter extension does not in, impair you getting through the doorway there. Nice drawers and so forth. This is the upgraded Furion three burner cooktop with the oven. And it feels more residential style, folks. Notice how it has a light there. You feel that door's a nice heavy door three burners, and of course the microwave there. Now let's talk about this dinette booth. This is a U-shaped dinette booth, folks. And what you have is, this is a cushion that goes on here, but you actually have storage up underneath there. So there's actually Velcro that they put on that to keep it so it doesn't move. But that normally goes back in the back there. Put it right back there, it fits. But I moved it out here just to show you that, you know, if you had three or four people, you want to sit, you're not pinning somebody in so you're not having to move as much or if you had a sofa instead of having the theater seating you're able to pull that over kind of like an ottoman or coffee table if you wish trifold sofa there would give you an extra um, sleeping area now you can see on your with the thomas Paine collection of this seat what you have is you're going to have the light massage and heat for both, and of course you have that center console so you're able to put your remotes and things of that nature in it. Good size windows there. So let's go back and take a look at this bathroom. Bathroom goes side to side, folks, so it's huge, gives you a ton of room, and with the pocket doors, um, you know, if, if you have company, and let's say nobody's in the master bedroom, it gives you room to spread out. You're able to throw your clothes on the, on the bed there, put a towel on the floor, it gives you tons of room to go ahead and utilize. You can see you have your toilet, nice space there, good size shower, and of course, as you can see, that has the, um, the imported Italian tile, as I call it, called plastique. 
Now this door, a lot of people don't like this door, and I can understand, but you've got to be careful when you're when you're utilizing it. When you when you're going to go ahead and open it, make sure you hold on to that handle because that does have an auto retract. Now on the behind the toilet, you're going to have three cubbies or four cubbies where you're actually able to put some um, towels and things of that nature. And of course, you saw the counter space, outlets, and so forth in the ba uh, bathroom there. As you come in the bedroom, you'll see above the window, you're able to put TV, emergency exit right there, and of course, your typical storage up around the bed with the lights. And of course, this is wired and framed for a second AC if you decided you wanted to do that. This is a 50 amp um, service, and you have the door. Now, here is another thing I like about the way that Grand Design does things. Now this is an actual queen bed, meaning it's a residential queen. But you see when I lift it up, notice how I'm not having to use my head to hold it up. I'm actually able to get under and get and store things in there. But then on either side, you're gonna have 110 outlets, but whoever is the lucky person on this side is gonna get the two USB ports. So that is what I like about this. So, you know, as far as for mattress, for, you know, if you have queen mattresses at home, your linens are gonna fit, everything's gonna fit for you here. So that is the bedroom. Let me tell you, let's give you another uh, vantage point of what it looks like looking this direction, looking through, and you see how wide the doors are? You have a towel holder for the bathroom. So this is what you're looking at. Okay, folks, well, I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed this video of the 31BH Imagine by Grand Design. Again, this is the 2018. For more information on this particular camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by, you ask for Paul the Air Force guy. Watch my vlogs. I have them coming out Sunday at 6 o'clock. A lot of good information there. If there is something in particular you'd like me to discuss, shoot me a comment. If there's something in particular you'd like me to review, Again, shoot me a comment. My contact information, as well as the specs and pricing for this unit, will be listed below. So be, to, be, be sure to check that out. Also, I have some links uh, to uh, a couple other things for you to uh, review. I appreciate you watching, and we'll be coming back at you again soon. Take care.